How excited are Buckeyes fans to get to see the first edition of Ryan Day, at least in the spring game here? Uh, yeah, I think there might be, I, I think there might be a little less juice to this spring than in spring past. Urban Meyer is, a, is an entity unto himself. And so I always think it's exciting to see what's new, to see the new guy. You know, um, just Urban Meyer brought a level of excitement to sort of what he did as a national championship coach. So there are a lot of things worth watching. Um, I, you know, they have a, a quarterback competition, a, a two quarterbacks that, that fans have never seen take a snap at Ohio State are going to be on the field Saturday. But I think there is a little bit of a wait to see approach um, with fans for this team into the fall just because, it's you know, it's just a different program at the moment. And let's talk a little bit about that. You, you mentioned Urban Meyer is an entity unto himself. He definitely made this a national recruiting type of thing with the Buckeyes. Uh, players from all over the country wanted to come play for him. Can Ryan Day keep that up? Can he keep that Buckeye brand the, where it's been? I mean, it's tough. Yeah, it's hard for anybody to do that. You know, I mean, you know, Urban Meyer was Urban Meyer fully formed when he got here. He was a known quantity. So he took Ohio State National to, to a different level. Now, Ryan Day has kept up a lot of that. They are, for instance, looking at a lot of, highly rated running backs in this next class. There's a, a kid named Kendall Milton, who I think is going to be here on Saturday. He's from California. They have all these West Coast running backs that they're looking at. So they're not going to abandon national recruiting. However, they have a coach's clinic that started on Thursday, continues on Friday. That's mostly for Ohio high school coaches. And Ryan Day has been beating the drum about how important Ohio is going to be for their recruiting efforts. They're offering Ohio kids earlier. They're taking commitments from Ohio kids earlier, especially at places like the offensive line. That is absolutely a strategy. It's a strategy a lot of coaches employ. When you get a job, one of the first groups you have to reach out to is the in-state high school coaches. So it's just a smart thing to do. But I also think it's partly a realization by Ryan Day that to continue to recruit kids from Texas and Georgia and, and Florida the way Urban Meyer did may not be realistic. They may lean back Port Ohio a little bit more than in, in the past several years, but I also think they, they don't want to give up on that Ohio State national brand. It's just that few people could do it to the extent that Urban Meyer did. Let's talk specifically about the spring game coming up noon uh, on the Big Ten Network. Who are some names to watch, some people that you re really want to see how they perform in a game setting, a quasi-game setting? <laughs> yeah, and, and they're not going to tackle to the ground. They're going to do thud tackling, which is just you you hit them and then back off. Um, the quarterbacks aren't going to be live. So, you know, it's going to, it's not going to 10 minute quarters running clock in the second half. So a lot of the veteran guys aren't going to play. Chase Young at defensive end might be an all American in the fall. He's not going to play much. The veteran guys never play much in these games. So I think young skill position guys are the guys to watch beyond Justin Fields and Matthew Baldwin at quarterback. Again, both of whom have never played a snap of Ohio state football before you want to watch them. Garrett Wilson is a true freshman receiver who they've talked about all spring. Five-star guy from Texas. Watch him. He's going to play a lot in the fall. Jalen Gill is an Ohio kid from Central Ohio who redshirted last year at the slot receiver H-back position. I think they want to get a look at a guy like him because K.J. Hill is a fifth-year guy at H-back. They know K.J. Hill. They want to see what Jalen Gill does. So watch some of these young skill guys, and there's a guy – there's kind of a competition behind J.K. Dobbins, who's going to be the starting running back to get the bulk of the carries. Who might be next? There's an early enrolled kid named Marcus Crowley, who is a guy that Ryan Day brought up this week as a guy who's really flashed. So, so watch some of those young skill guys who could get into the two deep and contribute in some way in the fall. But Garrett Wilson might start in the fall. So really keep an eye on him, number five for the offense. What about the offense under Ryan Day? That's a guy that was a pretty good offensive coach to begin with, and, and he brought some pretty good offensive coordinating and, and passing game type guys. What do you expect the offense to be like? Yeah, it's a great question. I think we're, there's some question in my mind of last year, the Dwayne Haskins offense, throwing the ball like that. How much was that taking advantage of the skill set of that quarterback, and how much was that an evolution towards what Ryan Day wants to do? I think he does want to throw more. I think he wants to run the quarterback less than Urban Meyer did. I do think that's an evolution. However, Justin Fields, who I'm pretty sure is going to win the starting job, has a great skill set as a runner. So 
I do think we're going to see more passing. We're going to see, although it's, it's hard to pass more than they did last year when Dwayne Haskins was chucking it all over the place. But I think philosophically, a little more NFL type stuff, less quarterback run ideally. But again, I think that's the philosophical shift with Ryan Day over time. Right now in the moment, Justin Fields is a much better runner than Dwayne Haskins. So even though Ryan Day over time, I think will emphasize the pass game more than Urban Meyer and emphasize the quarterback run game far less. This year, I think the quarterback will run more than last year because Dwayne Haskins didn't run at all. So it's a little confusing. You've got to take advantage of what you have. But Ryan Day is an offensive coach. NFL influence, also Urban Meyer influence, also Chip Kelly influence. So we'll see similar things in the past couple of years, but I think we'll also see a shift a little bit in what uh, Ryan Day does with the passing 